everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing another three looks using one palette video. Today's contestant is the Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette, this bad boy right here. It is absolutely stunning. The shades in this palette are so versatile and there are so many amazing looks you can create with this. The pigmentation is absolutely incredible. I'm just swatching two shadows right here for you. It's so pigmented, so full of life, and I have thoroughly enjoyed playing with this palette. So happy I picked it up. Huge fan of the formulation, the variation of the shadows you get in here, and also it smells like freaking chocolate. Really, you just can't go wrong. Yeah, if you want to see the three looks that I did using this palette, then please keep on watching. All right, here we go, here we go. First look using the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. So I've already applied my MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I also put white chocolate to set it all in. So I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this Salted Caramel shade. This is the Luxie 205 brush. Mine looks like it's all cracking, it's kind of terrifying. I'm just going to buff that into the crease a little bit for a little bit of a transition shade. I'm gonna take a MAC 217 and go in with the shade Milk Chocolat right there. I'm gonna pop that in the crease as well, use it to deepen it up a little bit. So even if I don't always show it on the camera, I always go in with the original blending brush that we use and I go over each step and blend it all together. I'm gonna take this fluffy brush, I got this in a Groupon set, I'm gonna take hot, 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 chocolate and we're gonna put this bad boy all over the lid this very strongly reminds me of Mac satin taupe but also Mac sable perhaps the two mixed together create this haut chocolat this color is nothing too crazy so you know go ham with yourself when you're putting this on your lid because it's not gonna be a crazy bright pigmented color but it is just really nice I would consider this every day this is like an everyday Ugh, the word smoky is so overused, but I'm gonna say it anyway. I have an everyday smoky eye. Blendy, blendy, blend. I'm gonna go back in with that milk chocolate shade and just drag that all along the lower lash line. And I've decided that to give this a little bit more pop, a little bit more pow, I'm gonna use Coffee Eye Pencil from MAC and just put a little bit of this into the upper and lower water lines. <laughs> And then I will have my crying episode after. Then I'm going to apply mascara. This is my Lancome Grandios Mascara. Today feels like a Bobbi Brown sand wash pink kind of day. So, <laughs> I just realized I was trying to do that without a mirror. Come on, man. Come on. You can't do that. And then that is going to be everything for this look. Super simple, everyday, smoky eye. I'm the worst at naming things, but this is uh, this is what this looks like. All right, so for this look, I've already applied my MAC Painterly Paint Pot, so I'm gonna, not that one, I'm gonna go in with the shade White Chocolate right here and use that with a fluffy brush just to set in that primer. I'm gonna take a fluffy brush, this one's by Charlotte Tilbury, and I'm gonna take the shade Salted Caramel right here and we're just gonna fluff that guy into the crease area. This is gonna be our light transition shade. So I'm just going back and forth, windshield wiper motions, the occasional little twirl in there, just to keep things interesting. All right, I'm gonna deepen this crease up with this bad boy. This is the shade, semi-sweet, this dark guy right here. I'm taking a MAC 217 to do this with. I'm just gonna focus that right into the crease. I'm just wanting to focus it right in here, so I'm just kind of keeping it horizontal and letting the line care of the shadow in there. I'm going to take the fluffy brush and just blend that out. Using that same shadow and brush, I'm just going to drag the shadow along the lower lash line. The same dark brown semi-sweet shade. I'm going to stick with the same brush and take the shade Cherry Cordial. Cordial? Cordial? however you want to say it. And we're going to use this to really deepen out, deepen out, deepen the outer corner. I'm just really lightly placing it in this area. I might take it in a little pointed fashion. I don't know. I'm not sure what I feel like doing just yet, but I just really want to add the depth there. I might drag this a little bit onto the lid. Take the fluffy brush from the beginning and blend out those edges. 
And I might just take this a little bit further into the crease. Again, making sure to keep the brush horizontal so you're not bringing it too far up into the transition shade. Just really carving out that crease area right here. I'm going to take this shade Black Forest Truffle with my Fanga Puppet and I'm going to place this onto the center of the lid, center and also inner corner. We're going deep with this look apparently. I wasn't planning on making it such a deep, dark look, but you know, that's that's what's just happened, so. I quite like the little shimmers running through this shadow. It's very pretty. Going back with our MAC 217 brush just to blend out that crease. Taking a MAC 219 brush, I'm gonna take that same Black Forest Truffle shadow and I'm just gonna run that all along the lower lash line. If you don't wanna go as dark under there, you can take that shade Cherry Cordial. I just kind of thought that this would be pretty with the little shimmers under there. I might regret this, this could potentially ruin the whole look, but I'm gonna take my finger again in that gold shade Creme Brulee right here, and I'm going to try dabbing this in the middle of the eye to add a little bit more brightness to it. Oh no, that's pretty, okay, it layers okay. I like that, that's fine. Again, just going over with the 217 to make sure that there are no harsh lines in the crease. Now taking a little pointer brush in the shade Marzipan right here, we're gonna use this shadow to highlight the inner corner and also as a brow line. I'm gonna take this uh, Charlotte Tilbury Classic Eye Powder Pencil Probably not going to be for the waterline, but it's the bronze shimmery one. I don't know what shade it is because it doesn't say. It just says Charlotte Tilbury, so it's this little bronzy pencil here. I'm going to put this onto the waterline. And I'm also going to take just a tiny bit onto the lash line. I'm going to go ahead and apply lashes and mascara off camera and also set up a lip and then I'll be back with you after. So on the eyes I used my Lancome Grandiose Mascara and then the Coco Goddess Lashes. You guys know I love the Goddess Lashes. I'm so happy I have like a drawer full of them now. And they're so crazy and so big but they're just so fun and I just love them with an eye look. Anyway, on the lips I use the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Sheet Liner and then my YSL Tint in Oil. And in the shade number three, whatever the name of that shade is. So that is everything for this look. I hope you guys like this kind of, I don't know, is it like rosy, a shimmery, goldy rose? I'm going to call it a winter rose. How fitting. Well, yeah, so that's everything for this look. I hope you guys uh, like it, and let's get on to the next one. day to night look for the third look using this palette because I just put this bold lip on because I just got it in the mail. It's the uh, Color Pop Lumia 2 by Kathleen Mike. And I also have nothing on my eyeballs except uh, mascara and then just like my normal BB cream concealer bronzer thing going on my face. So I'm like, hey, let's do day to night for the third look. Something I've never done before in my three looks using one palette video. So let's just do it, shall we? I'm going to start with the shade White Plastic with a fluffy brush all over the eye area. I didn't put any primer on. Take the shade Semi Sweet right here with the same MAC 217 brush. I'm going to use this to define the outer half lip, the outer third of the eyelid. I'm just kind of like half. I use the lid for a little bit of this look. I really focus it on the outer corner and then I'll lightly blend it onto the lid so that it kind of has a nice fading effect on the eyelid. Area. 
your chest really hurts a little bit right now. Mhm. Yeah, I'm going to take an eyeliner brush which is the Darlin' Creations of Seven Foot Three [noise] and this dark shadow called Triple Stripe right here. Mhm. You can use that to do eyeliner. Pro liner. Mhm. Yeah. Yeah. So, and then some of the lash lines. Mhm. [noise] I'm gonna take a little pointy brush and I think I'm gonna go in with the fade and lighten kind of right here which is the Beauty and the Beast color. [noise] But if you wanna use this color, you can also use this color. I want this one cuz it looks like it's gonna be like Oh my gosh, that's like somebody's eyebrow there. [noise] Yeah, it's like right there. [noise] All right. Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more pointy brush and I'm going to take a little bit more light. I'm going to focus a little bit more on the outside. Okay. Like, I'll do the inner portion of the lid. Just to brighten up that area, kind of blending it in to the contouring a little bit. Yeah. I'm gonna go in with the flow on my finger. Yeah, and bring more light to it so the outer edge is better. [noise] I'm gonna go back in with the Maxi on seven brush and just really blend out that crease area. [noise] And you can leave it matte like this or you can take a little bit of that Marja Cancel shade on the top of that really lightly into the middle of the eye. A little bit of mineral oil. Again, use for the eyeliner if you want to make your eyes look better. Because I know some of you people yeah, you have really prominent eye lines. Yeah. Yeah, I do. Okay, I'm just gonna pick these ones out a little bit. I'm just gonna get the outer edge of the crease really fine. I'm just gonna pick my inner corner and just fill in where I'm just weak. [noise] Yeah, I'm going to go over top of it all with a fluffy coat of mascara. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara in the shade Wanda Tilbury. Full fat, right? Yeah. Woah. And then once you've applied the mascara, that is everything for this look. I think that this would honestly go with any lip color you put it with. Actually, yeah. I prefer to put it with the gold, but because I feel like it would kinda complete the face completely, the face, but it would also go really nicely with any nude look as well. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Cuz the nude, nude doesn't look as pretty as the, like, full face [inaudible nude look. [laughs] Yeah. As defined by the eye and something like a little bit of highlighter. Really easy to do. Really quick to work. So I'm just gonna blend this into this little bit of a third look. A little bit of tonight action going on. Those are all of the three looks that I am doing with the Too Faced Chocolate Butter Palette. Obviously there are many, many more looks that you can do with this. I feel like this is such an awesome palette. It has so many endless opportunities with the shadows in it. And it smells like chocolate. It's amazing. There's just really can't go wrong. And I find this formula of shadows to be way better than a semi-seed palette that I came out with. I also just got the Bond Bond palette, so I'll be playing with that and seeing how it compares in terms of quality. Hopefully it's the same and just as well. Absolutely love this palette. I finally understand why so many people rave about it. I think it is so beautiful, and if you guys are looking for a new palette to play with, I definitely recommend it. So I hope you guys enjoy the three looks that I have created using this palette, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!